In this video, let's talk about how to promote your plugin. And actually your marketing starts during the, the very feedback phase because... This video is brought to you by EpiPies Academy. When you're getting feedback on your plugin idea in like the Facebook groups or the LinkedIn groups, well, guess what? They're all the people there. They're going to be already aware of that conversation. And if like two or three or four weeks later, you're like, and then you'll tell them, oh, I have a working prototype. Now they'll be likely eager to try it out or willing to try it out. So that's the first place you go to. And that's a core user group because they had input in the original idea and they are within that target market, which might be a perfect user of your plugin. And if in fact you made a useful plugin, then perfect. They might just stay on as users. And then of course you want to research the keywords that people search when they're having the problem that your plugin solves. And the keywords are going to be really important because you're going to, you can make YouTube videos that rank for those keywords. You can make blog posts that rank for those keywords. And when people search for plugins inside their WordPress, you can come up for those keywords and everywhere else people search, you might just come up for those kinds of keywords. So keywords are going to be really important because they are the way for, for your potential great users, people who actually want what your plugin does to find you. And then of course you can do your own kind of publicity by reaching out to podcasts, blogs, YouTube channels, all who cover the niche that your plugin serves. So, so remember that conversation about choosing your niche wisely. Well, see how all of the marketing strategies have to do with your niche or if not all, then many and identifying a niche and the problem to solve is exactly what gives you an advantage in the marketing because you have suddenly natural marketing channels. And if your plugin is paid, you can put your plugin on ClickBank and become an affiliate vendor, meaning affiliate marketers will find your plugin and promote it for, for a fee. And if your plugin is free, then you can actually put it on WordPress.org and that has a free plugin market and you can get your plugin discovered there and usually through keywords. When people are searching or browsing, it's often, not always, but often through keywords. So the keywords are really important. The outreach to your niche is also very important. So those are the two main themes that you'd use when promoting your plugins. And then ideally you'd become like a household name in your niche, in your industry. And then you'd get that word of mouth going. People would start recommending you naturally and then you start to create a brand for your business and then things just begin to flow much more easily and the promotion becomes much more easy as well.